السلام علیکم فرینڈس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ود یو دا نیمونکس فار کاربوہائیڈریٹس اینڈ دس از پارٹ ٹو اینڈ ان پارٹ ٹو آئی ول بی گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا نیمونکس فار کیٹوز شوگرز دا کامنلی نون کیٹوز شوگرز ایز یو نو وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس دا نیمونکس فار الڈوزز ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو دیٹ از پارٹ ون آف دی نیمونکس فار کاربوہائیڈریٹس ویڈیوز یو کین سی دا لنک فار دا پارٹ ون آف دس ویڈیو that is uh, the mnemonics for aldoses in the description section or uh, you can also see it uh, in the end of the video so let's begin the today's video bismillahir rahmanir rahim first of all let me tell you uh, what ketoses are ketoses are the sugars that have a ketone group in them and the commonly known ketoses have the carbonyl carbon at their second position as you can see here in the given sample structure ketoses have four kinds of carbons in them the first and the last carbon which are both non stereogenic so we cannot uh, uh, include them in our mnemonics because rotating these hydroxyl groups to the other sides will not make an isomer of the sugar the second kind of carbon is the carbonyl carbon which is the uh, second carbon in the common ketoses that is this carbon we also do not need any mnemonic for this carbon Then the third kind of carbon is the second last carbon which is also called the penultimate carbon that is involved in making the D and L sugars if it is on the right side that sugar will be a D sugar and if it is on the left side that will be a capital L sugar so this carbon or this hydroxyl group will also not be the part of our mnemonics and the last kind of carbon that is the fourth type of carbon they are the remaining uh, carbons in the sugar keto tetros doesn't have four type of carbon while keto trios doesn't have fourth and third both of these type of carbons therefore we do not need any mnemonics for keto trioses as well as for keto tetros mnemonics will be made for the hydroxyl groups attached to the fourth type of carbon only Let's see how many carbons do we have in each type of ketose at this position. Keto trioses doesn't have any carbon over here. Keto tetros only have D L carbon over here. That is the penultimate or second last carbon. So we are not required to devise mnemonics for these two sugars. Keto pentoses have one carbon of the fourth kind over here while keto hexoses have two carbons of the fourth type over here the mnemonics i am going to tell you will help you draw the d isomer only so how you will draw the l isomer of that sugar it's very easy just draw the mirror image of the d sugar that's it The link to my last video about mnemonics that is for aldoses is given over here. Now let's learn the rules. The rules or mnemonics that you learned for aldoses in part 1 of the video will also be used over here. So the rule you learned for aldoses can also be used for ketoses. Those rules that we learned were The rule number 1 was sugars that starts with r will have all the hydroxyl groups attached to the fourth type of carbon on the right side and those sugars that starts with l will have all the hydroxyl groups that attached to the fourth kind of carbon on the left side the rule number 2 said in the previous video was that alphabetically first sugars will have all the hydroxyl groups uh, attached to the fourth kind of carbon on the right side and alphabetically last sugars will have all the hydroxyl groups attached to the fourth type of carbon on the left side rule number 3 has the following points all vowels mean left except u y is also included in vowel so it also means hydroxyl groups on the left side all consonants mean right side except m l and f as you can see here in today's videos that is mnemonics for ketoses we have included another letter uh, in the exceptional list is the f m stands for minus 
which is used for Liu sugars, L stands for left, and F stands for false, which will also be used for left side hydroxyl group in this video. The rest of the rules are all the same that you saw in my previous video. Now let's see rule number one. According to rule number one, sugars that start with letter R have all the hydroxyl groups on the right side. Sugars that starts with letter L have all the hydroxyl groups on the left side. Let's search for sugars starting with letter R or L. First of all, you will have to memorize the names of these eight sugars. This is a keto triose sugar. This is the keto tetrose sugar. These two are keto pentoses and these four are keto hexose sugars. We do not need any mnemonics for keto trioses as well as for keto tetroses. As you can see, no sugar in ketoses starts with letter L. And you can see ribulose is the ketose that starts with letter R. Therefore, the hydroxyl group take to the fourth kind of carbon or on the right side in this sugar. Now, let's come towards rule number two. According to rule number two, alphabetically first sugar has all the hydroxyl groups attached to the fourth kind of carbon will be on the right side and alphabetically last sugars uh, has all the hydroxyl groups on the left side. This rule will be applied to both ketopentoses as well as ketohexoses. Let's look for the alphabetically first and last sugars in each group separately. As you can see, the, uh, in ketopentoses, alphabetically first sugar is the ribulose. And in ketohexoses, alphabetically first sugar is allulose. Let me tell you one more thing, uh, that allulose can also be called as sucrose. So these two are the sugars that are alphabetically first sugars in their respective groups. Therefore, the hydroxyl groups attached to the fourth kind of carbon in these sugars will all be on the right side. Xylulose as well as tegatose. These both sugars are the alphabetically last sugars in their respective groups. Therefore, the hydroxyl groups attached to the fourth kind of carbon in these sugars will be on the left side. Now let's come towards rule number three. According to rule number three, R stands for right, L stands for left, D stands for dextro, which also means right, M stands for minus, which stands for levo sugars, and F, an additional point that I have included in today's video is F, which stands for false, and from false we would mean the hydroxyl groups on the left side. All vowels mean left except U. All consonants mean right except L and M and F. This rule is applied to the rest of the sugars. For this rule, we need to take the first two letters from keto hexoses. Let me tell you that in today's videos, you will not need all these points from rule number three. You will only need this R, which stands for right, this F, which stands for false, that is left, and this, these two points, that is all vowels except U and all consonant except these three things. So let me first hide all those sugars that we have done mnemonic for. We are left only with two sugars, that is fructose and sorbose. These are the rules. The first two letters of fructose or F and R. So according to the rules and mnemonics, F stands for false, which we would mean the hydroxyl group on the left side. And R stands for right, so the hydroxyl group on this carbon will be on the right side. The first two letters of sorbose we will take are S and O. So S is a consonant, and therefore the hydroxyl group on this carbon will be on the right side. While O is a vowel, which means, according to the rule, that these hydroxyl groups will be on the left side. So this hydroxyl group is on the left side in sorbose.
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब बोथ ऑफ माई चैनल दैट इज़ साई आर्ट फन एंड साई आर्ट फन एंटरटेनमेंट बाय